welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a java web application project which is entitled as online toll gate management system so we all know that in the toll gate we need to pay the particular fees to the toll so to automate this process we have developed this online toll gate management system using java jsp and for the database we have used mysql and in the earlier or the existing system there are several drawbacks to overcome those issues we have developed this online toll gate management system which addresses those issues and makes the automate the process easily and with the security so now let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project using the netbeans ide 8.2 so just first open netbeans ide 8.2 now let us import the project into the netbeans ide 8.2 so first go to the file menu and click open project now go to the source code location where you can find this toll gate so just select it and then click open project so now the project will be loaded into the netbeans id here you can see the progress so it takes some time so let us minimize this and meantime let us attach the database in the mysql so just go to the mysql administrator and log in with the credentials of username and password as root and root and click ok and now go to the restore option now select the open backup file again go to the project source code location where you can find the database folder select this database and then click start restore and now you can see the message the restore operation was finished successfully and close it now the database is attached successfully so now we can close this mysql administrator part coming back to the netbeans ide you can see the project is completely loaded into the netbeans ide so now let us execute it so now just select this toll gate and then click run so kindly wait till the project is being loaded into the netbeans part meanwhile kindly note that you need to create a folder called staff in the d drive location so you need to create the folder name called staff in this d drive location uh, this is to uh, create the username and password for the staff purpose and now let us show you that one so first let me create the go to the d drive so this is my d drive i'll create a folder called staff so now in the staff location you can see the files are empty so now in the browser part the project is loaded in the browser part and here you can see the home screen or it comes to the project with the project title online toll gate management system and here you can see the few images in the templates and here you can see the entities of this online toll gate management system where it consists of admin staff and users so now first let me go to the admin part so admin part i'll log in with the username and password as admin and admin so both are admin admin and then click sign in and now you can see the login is success let me log out and if i give some other name you can see the authentication has failed so the username and password is admin and admin so there is only one entity in the admin so that is default set as admin admin and click sign in and once after logged into the admin page you can see the welcome screen for the admin and here you can see the profile so in the profile you can see the uh, company name which is a toll gate is disabled and here you can see the username where if you wanted you can change it if you wanted to change the user email id you can change it so let me change my email id to this one and if you wanted to name the company name also you can change it for example let me change it as jp infotech address you wanted to change it you can do it pin code you can change it company description and if you wanted to change the password also you can change the password here and then you can click update profile and now you can see it is updated and now if you go to the profile part you can see the details have been updated successfully and next let me come to the fair details so in the fair details you can see the id vehicle type that is what is the vehicle type car jeep van this low motor vehicles that is three wheelers these are characterized one and lcv lgv minibus these are categorized and one and two axle 
truck bus and three axle commercial vehicle heavy construction machineries oversized vehicle seven or more axles though these have been categorized and for the single journey the price is been updated for, for return it is updated and for daily pass or 50 trips or monthly trips so these things are updated if you wanted to change it for example here you can see the car jeep price for single journey is 90 rupees now if i wanted to change just click this update so now let me change this for single journey as 100 and click confirm and now you can see it has been updated to 100 so in this way you can update for the anything whichever you wanted so that means as the right of making the fare details here and next coming to the toll gate details so here you can see we have updated the toll gate details of all over india which consists of 458 currently and which has uh, the states like andhra pradesh Assam, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Haryana, Jammu and Kashmir, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Meghalaya, Odisha, Punjab, Rajasthan, and Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh. West Bengal. So we have taken this from the um, online and we have updated all the details of the toll uh, which consists of the branch number, what is the state, what is the NH number. So here you can see the NH number is 16 which is the state Andhra Pradesh and what is the toll name Anganapundi and toll kilometer like uh, 728.055 and what is the section that is Vishaga Patnam to Ankapalli. So these details have been updated here. You can check all those details here. So here you can see like in uh, Tamil Nadu the details of uh, the each and every toll has been updated. So here this is about the 349 Tamil Nadu 66 that is the Moratandi kilometers uh, 6.572 Pondicherry to Tindivanam. So this is located in our location Pondicherry and these are the details of the toll gate. So now let us coming to the staff part. So the staff details you can see it is empty. Customer details you can see it is empty because we have not updated anything. So online transaction. Uh, that is already empty because we are not done anything. So first let me create a staff. So first part if you click this add staff you can see a staff uh, number which is been uh, created unique ID for each and every staff there will be unique ID and kindly note that if you are not created the folder in D drive this staff will not be created because the username and password for the staff will be stored in the D, D drive location that is the folder named staff which we have created. Now let us show you that one. So now let me create a staff name called JP, the Gmail ID, phone number, date of birth, address, salary and now you can see you can select the branch code so whatever the toll we have shown you all the toll details have been updated here and let me select branch 2 for example i am showing you I'll, and you can select the shift day night or night shift anything then click upload once if updated you can see the message is success now so now if you go to the d drive here you can see the staff id and also the password for the particular staff so now if you go to the staff details you can see the staff has been updated now and once if you wanted to change something also you can just uh, update it or you can just delete it so just uh, if you click update and click so here you can see if you wanted to change the salary to some other and click update and if you go to the staff details you can see the salary has been now updated so in this way you can also update all other things so now let me create some other staff for example i am creating a staff called xx gmail.com and let me create a phone number and let me name the and 
let me pound it cherry and salty as 10,000 and now let me select a toll called 349 and let me create upload and now if you go to the d drive you can see the new thing that is created xx so this is the username and password for the new staff that we have created and if you go to the staff details you can see the new staff xx has been now updated so in this way you can create as many of staffs you wanted and also you can delete it and also the particular branch you can select it and you can do it if you wanted to delete a particular uh, staff also you can delete from the admin part so these are the things for that admin part still we'll see these other things because these all things not been updated so now let me log out and now let me go to the staff part so in the staff part so now let me log in with the first staff that i have created so just enter the username and password of the user uh, staff that first staff jp and then click sign in so here you can see the login is success now if I am giving some other username and password, you can see the authentication is failed. So we need to give the exact staff name that has been generated by the admin and create login. And once the login is successful, you can see the welcome screen for the staffs and here the staffs has the option of users entry so here you can see the branch code is 2 but we cannot change it because when the admin is registered to the particular branch the the staff is being registered to that and the particular details of the toll is already been default set so they cannot do anything so just need to enter the vehicle number only and also what type of vehicle and then need to select the plan that's it so now let me enter a vehicle number called for example i am entering ap zero zero bar b a one two three four so for example i'm entering this and let me enter and let me select the single or return plan and click submit so automatically the price for that will be updated and here you can see the rate and just click confirm payment so this is a prototype only so we are not going to integrate any payment methods here just click confirm payment means it means that the payment has been made and here you can see the entry is success and if you go to the all entries you can see what all the entries made by this user will be updated here and if you go to online user there is no any users right now so it is not been updated so now let me log out so now let me go to the users part so now as I don't have any username and password, I am a new user, I will register it. So let me go to the register part. So now let me register by creating a new user. So now let me create a user called Ajit. And let me name it as and details of the user. and the password for the user and then click register so now you can see the login uh, the, for the registration is success and it will be navigated to the user login page so you need to enter the email id of the user and the password which we have entered during the registration and then click sign in and now you can see the sign in is success and this is the welcome screen for the user so here in the user they have the details of the toll details so all the toll details they can see here and if you go to the search toll so here they just enter the keyword for example i don't know what what tolls for example i'm in pondicherry let me click pondicherry and then click search so now you can see there were many tolls but there are only one toll in pondicherry so that has been shown here you can see the branch number state the national highway number the toll name the toll kilometer the section pondicherry and uh, review if you wanted to make a review i'll show you that one and book toll means we can book toll so just go to uh, search toll and for example i'll give uh, chennai and give search you can see what all the section that comes in as chennai it will be listed you can see chennai tada and uh, chennai bypass chennai bypass so vanagaram so you can see what all the, the tolls that is coming under the branch name 350, all the things been shown here. So in this way you can search for the 
told whichever you wanted so if you click type hyderabad you can see hyderabad bangalore hyderabad vijayawada so you can see all the tools that comes under here you can type bangalore and you can see what all the thing comes under bangalore it has also been updated here so now for this user i'm searching for pondicherry and i'm booking a toll for here and let me select my vehicle as car jeep and let me select a plan as single and let me enter my vehicle number as py01 bf 8697 and then click submit and now it asks for the confirmation and once after checking you can see we already updated the price as 100 that has been shown here and just click confirm payment and now you can see the booking is success so now if you log out and go to the let me go to the staffs part now so in the staff part i already created another user for the particular toll so let me enter with that staff second staff that i have created xx and then click sign in now if you go to the user entry so this is for 349 so currently this this staff did not enter any yourself so th so that has been empty and if you go to online user you can see the user that i have created jp uh, with the rate and time of it and uh, the price of it has been updated here transaction which is made is also updated with the transaction id of it and uh, if i am just entering if this uh, staff is updating uh, another vehicle for example let me enter tn 011234 and let me enter uh, three axle commercial and let me click submit so the price updated and click confirm payment so you can see the entry is success if you go to all entries you can see the entry made by this particular staff only been shown here so now let me log out now let me go to the admin part so in the admin part now if you go to the customer details you can see the customer that has been created now and if you wanted to take a report of the all the customers so you can create n number of customers here and if you wanted to take a report of it you can take it and if you go to online transaction you can select the branch code so it will not show all the transactions so if you are clicking branch one so there is no any transaction done so it has been empty so if i am selecting branch 349 where the transaction was made just click so you can see transaction is shown here so if you wanted to click a report of it just click it and you can save it so it has been saved in online one in the desktop and here you can see it has been saved as a report in a pdf format and if you go to the entry details you can select the branch the same what we did and if you go to the customer feedback there is no any feedback right now so now let me log out and go to the user part so in the user let me enter the user we have created and go to the search tool or tool details anything you can go let me go to the search tool let me give the feedback as good and then click submit so now let me log out and go to the admin part so in the admin part let me go to the customer feedback here you can see the feedback is updated with the user id name email id what is the toll id and what is the toll name what is the toll structure and feedback is good and what is the date and time the toll was been the feedback has been registered the details have been shown here so we have checked the details of the profile fair details toll gate details start staff staff details customer details online transactions made entry details and uh, customer feedback and let me log out and this is all about the project online toll gate management system using java and thank you for watching